Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is unusual names you've encountered while reading. Well, there are three groupings of unusual names I can think of. Grouping number one, fantasy names in made up languages. There are lots of those where it's not a real world name at all. So the ones I find unusual from that but not memorable are the ones where it's lots of consonants and punctuation thrown to page. So maybe it makes sense in the world but I read it and I have no idea how to pronounce it. So unusual names, I'd say names without a Dave accessible schema to them, without enough of a common link to the way humans talk that I can instinctively work it out. Secondly, obviously, foreign names where a book's maybe been translated or is set in another country. A lot of the names are unusual but because they are part of the world, the place of the world where it's set, the unusualness is usually just I haven't encountered that before rather than a memorable strangeness. But the category of names that do catch my eye are variations on a well-known thing, such as Caroline, only without the E on the end. So you look at it, well, is that Caroline? in the same way that Claire is still Claire without an E on the end? Or is it Carolyn? And similarly, replacing Y's for I's, you can still predict it's probably going to be an I sound, but if there are a couple of changes, is it pronounced the same way or not? Or if you put charisma with a K instead of a C, the kudos sound K is transliterated sometimes as CH and sometimes as KH. So that works. For me, I don't have a trouble with that, unless there's another character, is for example Carol with a K. So you've got, well, is it a straight transliteration? What if there's also, what if there's charisma with a K and Carol with a K? <clears throat> are they pronounced charisma or a pronounced charisma because the H is missing. So not so much memorable unusual names because the name in itself is unusual but because it's close enough to an existing name that it falls into the uncanny valley between obviously being a different name and obviously being the name I know. So it hooks at me every time my mind goes, well, is that the same or not? It sort of niggles at me, which isn't a bad thing. It's just sometimes these things happen. That's, a, that's it. Uh, nothing memorable, memorable, but unusualness is more 
a slight deviance rather than a huge one. Toodaloo!